what's up guys taking out the old fat boy it's been good i mean right now it'd be my top rated voltage regulator for external just because it's done me so well and we getting ready to put something back in thank y'all for sticking around okay so got the brand x back and you can tell it's got a hole here to adjust um so i gotta put everything back in to accommodate this now y'all see my previous video because this thing was junk that wouldn't actually charge over 15.8 um and you know it's rated to charge higher and uh when i messaged the owner of brand x about the issue he kept telling me to, to do the same thing that I had done over and over and over again. And then he told me I was an idiot, which is what he does to everybody. Uh, he's got a little man complex, you know, I think. Um, because any good businessman, when there's a problem with his product, he'd want to fix it. But he don't. He just tells everybody. I see this all the time. He tells everybody they're an idiot. Um, but the guy that designed this made it guy named Joshua, he reached out to me and wanted me to send the Owen back. And I did, because he didn't know there was a problem with them. And there was a few problems in it um, that limited it to charging to 15.8. So, in fact, I wasn't an idiot, like uh, the owner said. So, Joshua revised it, and now you know all the new ones are set up like this. And the reason they're revised is because of me. And there had been a whole lot of problem because I had m multiple messages of people that had an issue with this. Messaging me, and they all had the same story. They messaged Brand X and got told they were an idiot because it wouldn't charge high enough. So Joshua didn't know there was an issue with his product. And he was more than happy to fix it and revise it. So, you know, that's good business right there. Um, but... Yeah, we're going to try to put this back in today and uh, we're going to see if we can get it to operate properly now because, uh, you know, Joshua went through and revised it and changed all the stuff in it that was limiting it to 15.8. So now that uh, I finally got moved and everything, I got a little time to put this back in because Josh is definitely waiting on me to let him know how this thing's doing. So we'll get to it, guys. Now, as you know, Oh boy, wants to call everybody an idiot when you do an install if it don't function properly. Now, uh, this, this Brand X voltage regulator calls for eight gauge wire going straight to the battery. And uh, this is what I had in it before. Got some six gauge OFC with good crimp ends on it, heat shrink. And it goes straight from, I'm gonna mount it here. It goes straight from here to the battery, which is just a couple feet away. So, bigger since we're going a couple feet, I go two gauge size bigger. You know, just a little bit bigger on there. But uh, yeah, I'm just throwing that out there so I can't be called an idiot if this thing don't work properly. Now, uh, before I started this today, my Jeep had said a couple days it drops a couple tenths on uh, voltage. So. Drove around the block a couple times. Get my voltage up to around 15.8, which uh, it's a good starting point. I only want to charge around 16, 16 two ish. And uh, this is my field wires here. This is a good old 10 gauge. Uh, runs up to the front to the alternators. Talked to old Joshua, told him uh, what size wires I had on everything. And uh, he told me that definitely would be suffice. And uh, there again, I got this from DC Wire and Supply. They sell welding wire and everything, but uh, it's a good old uh, OFC 10 gauge. Should be perfectly fine. Got crimp connectors on there. And the reason I have to use them is the fields have that spade terminal, the male for, you know, female to plug on. So got that. Got my six gauge hooked up here. My ignition, it runs through this relay. Ground, which this is a ground block straight to the battery. 
And then this is the cinch wire that hooks to a uh, terminal on one of the alternators. Can't remember which one. Don't matter. As long as they're both plugged in, we're good. But uh, yeah, we're about ready to get the, I need two more screws to put in here and then we're gonna get this bad boy uh, hooked up to the battery in the back and get rolling. So I'll see you in a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. got debbie filming what i'm doing i'm just routing this up through here That's find a good a spot shot. find a good little spot to uh mount this oh, i know where i need. I need to come up I need to come up through here so it just looks cleaner. There's so many wires back here, guys. And I we all know I'm terrible. Like terrible at uh wire management. It's all good though. And look at that, we all snug down. We got that hooked up. So well, that's everything back here. All we gotta do now is uh, plug in two alternators. So, uh, it's alternator one, bam. There's alternator two, bam. Got that hooked up. So, we're set to, uh, go ahead and get that zoom in there. Got that jumper. Josh already set that to C-Max because well, he knows I run C-Max, so that's it. This is the red wire. It goes to the charge stud on number one alternator, which is the brand X. That's my ground. That's my ignition, which is done through a relay. That's my battery terminal, my two fields wires. So now all we got to do is uh, start this thing up. I got to get out my old trusty multimeter out of my toolbox, which is under my enclosure. And uh, we're going to probe some charge wires up front. And I'm going to get back here and adjust on this while my wife helps me uh, tell me when I'm around that 16 volt mark. And we'll be all good. So I'll be back when we're done. Guys, we're around, you know, we're fluctuating between 15, 9, 9, and 16, which is great. I'm going to rev it up for you. What we get up to? So we got up to 16.2 or 16, yeah, 0.2. Say hi, Debbie. Hi, guys. Which, you know, right now it's still fluctuating 15 and 16. See that? That's perfectly fine. That's what we want. Now, this gauge in my dash, it goes straight off the bank. It's sitting at 15.8, which is good. That's golden right there, guys. You see the lights on the uh, fields output. Now, this is a hundred times better than the first revision. You know, the one that I was stupid because it wouldn't work right. Uh, Joshua Lynn, you outdid yourself, man. You're a straight up, stand up guy. You stand behind your product. And uh, yeah, that's why I had nothing but great things to say about you. Um, this knob here, you know, that's a revision. That thing works great. Uh, no problems at all with that knob. I actually like it. Um, you know, it's kind of like the old transpo box. Counterclockwise is turning the voltage up. Clockwise is turning the voltage down. It was set all the way down when I fired it up, and we were right at 15.8 out the gate. So, very good job, Josh. Um, so, I'll put the cap on it. Cover to drive it a few days but i have no doubt that it's gonna work because like i said josh lynn is a stand-up guy he definitely stood behind this product which don't even have his name on it he just you know is the guy that i guess designed and built it uh everything seems to be going great now uh really i have nothing bad to say about the revision two of this you know i just wish that the guy that owns brand x uh 
was more of a straight up guy and you know accepted criticism when he does something wrong or has a bad part it happens to all of us <laughs> but um you know then so many people wouldn't have got a bad one out the gate which i've explained i had tons of messages forwarded a lot of them to josh after me and him started talking and that's the only way he knew there was a problem because everybody that messaged the owner of brand x about it got called an idiot so now i think this is going to be a really good product and uh I'm liking it so far. I need to check and see if my alternator wine's still there, guys. So uh, let's turn the radio on. It don't sound like no. It don't sound like that terrible wine is there anymore. Even though it's telling me no device, because uh, it's trying to play my phone. What the hell? Now that terrible alternator wine I had before is actually gone now. I have a little bit of wine, but I think it's normal. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll do a little follow up on this in a few days. Uh, I have an opportunity to play with it a little more. Hey, yeah, look right here. We're still, you know, the whole time I've been talking, we're still charging like right at fifteen nine nine. So uh, fifteen nine eight now. It's where it's you know idling at. I think once I get the the car moving, though, it'd definitely go up around that sixteen sixteen one. But I do love the adjustability that it has now, and the fact that when you got a cover on it. You know, if you need to turn down or tweak it up a little bit, you can just pull over on the side of the road. And, uh, i put it in. With the cover on, you can still grab your old, uh, trustworthy little snap-on screwdriver and go right through the cover and just give that just a little bit of tweak. That's a really nice feature. That, there again, that's Josh. Uh, so... Anyway, guys, you know, I guess that's going to be it. I really, I like where it's charging at right now. Like I said, I think when I get moving, I'm going to see 16 volt out of it. Maybe 16.1 and everything will be golden. Come back here. We'll look at the battery back here and see where it's at. Like I said, I got my, my volt meter in the dash wired straight to this battery, but through a relay. And we're sitting at 15.77. But like I said, we're just idling. the old jeep sorry i like to overheat so you gotta check the temp every once in a while but uh anyway i'm gonna end this video guys thank you all for watching man and uh i wasn't trying to put anybody on blast on here it's just it is an issue i see it all the time in all the facebook groups man uh somebody can have a, a great product that just needs a few tweaks and they don't want to admit it and them few tweaks could really push them over the top if they took corrective criticism or positive criticism whatever um definitely want to thank josh and for reaching out to me over the issue when he saw my first video and really wanting to stand behind his product and fix it and i think that everybody's going to love revision 2 this thing so far i love it and uh hell if things go right i might uh, find somebody to order me one because i'm not going to order or fucking the dude might piss on it try to order one straight from josh i don't know but uh I, I might get one putting the old blazer over there we never know yo she got a sexy booty on it peace out guys I guys i got the cover on um and there's that whole other song about where you just reach in and give it a little tweak um and the cover this screw back here it's one of the mountain screws for the unit and the cover so leave that one out until you put the cover on get these screws around here in and then you can put her all together but uh oh i guess that's gonna be it for this video we're gonna close her up up oh, forgot my sunshade these are important guys you everybody needs a sunshade when you're at the old show and uh everything giving them demos 
or waiting in the lanes to uh, go up and, you know, meet her, what have you. The most sunshades can save your windshield. They, they help cool, they keep the windshield cool and, uh, you know, I've had a couple of the windshields do the old spider web thing on me from leaving it out in the sun too long and uh, giving her the old burp. But uh, anyway, guys, yeah, it ain't no fun. No fun at all. Spider webbing the old windshield. But uh, this time I'm really out. I've got to get this video edited and get her all put up. So peace out, base on again.